Welcome to this short video about administrative appeals. I'm Lynn Markham from the Center for Land Use Education. Thank you for joining us. Administrative appeals are one type of decision made by zoning boards. What is an administrative appeal? It's a legal process to resolve disputes, either disputes about ordinance interpretation, such as interpretation of the text, the maps, the jurisdiction, or how measurements were made. And administrative appeals can also be an appeal of the granting or denial of a zoning permit or a conditional use permit. So who can file an administrative appeal? Any aggrieved person. So that could be the applicant who received an unfavorable decision. It can be neighbors, property owners affected by the decision, anyone affected to a greater degree than the general public. Also state program oversight agencies can appeal as well as any officer, department, board, or bureau of the municipality. Time limits on administrative appeals. Wisconsin statutes do not specify any time limit. So we highly recommend that local governments do. What you don't want is a zoning administrator's decision appealed a year or 10 years later because there's no limit in your local ordinance. So limits can be set by local ordinance or rules. It could be 30 days, it could be 60 days, but plug in a number. If there is no time limit, the clock begins ticking when the aggrieved parties find out about the decision. In some cases, courts have decided that an appeal period began when construction commenced. Not ideal. When deciding administrative appeals, the zoning board's role is to interpret the ordinance. Begin by reviewing the purpose statement to understand the ordinance intent. Rely on definitions from the ordinance first. If they're not in the ordinance, then go to a common dictionary. Determine if the ordinance language is ambiguous. If it is ambiguous, then interpret to support the purpose of the ordinance and give effect to all provisions. Zoning boards will often receive input from the applicant and other parties regarding administrative appeals. These could take the form of letters or legal briefs submitted before the hearing or testimony submitted at the hearing. If the ordinance is ambiguous, examine the administrative history. Rely on documented evidence of intent, such as meeting minutes. Once you've decided the meaning of a certain provision of the ordinance, keep records of the zoning board's interpretation and recommend clarifying ordinance amendments. Let's look at an example. A property owner wants to put a camper on a property that zoned farmland preservation. The Wisconsin Department of Agriculture says the state doesn't prohibit campers in farmland preservation areas. The zoning ordinance does not list campers or camping as a permitted or conditional use in farmland preservation zoning. The zoning administrator denied the permit for a camper on this property, and the property owners have appealed that decision to the zoning board. What do you think? Often multiple government departments will weigh in on a zoning board decision. In this instance, the State Department of Agriculture doesn't prohibit campers in farmland preservation areas. It's also possible that highway commissioners and other local officials and departments will provide their opinion from their perspective. However, it's not their job to apply the local zoning ordinance. The zoning board's job is to apply the ordinance. In this case, because the ordinance does not allow campers as a permitted use or a conditional use, that makes campers a prohibited use in the farmland preservation zoning district. So the zoning administrator made the correct decision in denying the permit for a camper on this property. In some communities, planning and zoning committees or commissions decide conditional uses, and the appeal of these conditional use decisions goes to the zoning board. Upon appeal, the zoning board has two choices. It may simply review the record of the conditional use hearing as a court would, or the zoning board may conduct a de novo hearing, an entirely new hearing. If the zoning board believes that the record from the conditional use hearing contains all of the relevant evidence, 
the zoning board may choose to simply review the record of the conditional use decision. If there is new evidence related to the conditional use application that was not part of the initial hearing for the conditional use, the zoning board may hold a de novo hearing to take new evidence. Anytime the zoning board hears an appeal, they can substitute their judgment for the zoning committee or zoning administrator's judgment. The standards for zoning boards making conditional use decisions were changed by the 2017 Act 67. These changes are summarized in two publications by Brian Ohm, a land use attorney with UW-Madison and the Division of Extension. These publications can be found at the website shown. Thank you for joining us. Please contact me if you have questions about administrative appeals.